Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Boris with Fine Cardiology Lifestyle Medicine, wishing you happy holidays and a great 2024. Today we're diving into the world of home blood pressure monitors. And if you ever wondered why you need one, the types available, the best options, where to buy them, the cost, and the importance of having a validated and calibrated monitor, you are in the right place. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's tackle the question why you need a home blood pressure monitor. High blood pressure, the silent killer, does not have uh, symptoms most of the time. And the only way to know it is to measure it. And think of the tires in your car. Unless you have a flat tire, you cannot really know the pressure until you actually measure it. The blood pressure taking at your doctor's office is not always accurate. You have people who have high blood pressure in the office, but normal blood pressure at home. It's called white coat hypertension. On the other hand, we have people that have normal blood pressure in the office, but have high blood pressure outside the doctor's office. This is called masked high blood pressure, masked hypertension. You do not want to ignore high blood pressure, but you do not want to be committed to a lifelong medication regimen that you may not need it. One reading in your doctor's office is not sufficient to make a correct diagnosis of high blood pressure. Monitoring your blood pressure at home offers several advantages. It provides a more comprehensive picture of your blood pressure over time in the real world. It is crucial for the diagnosis and regular monitoring allows for better management, early detection of any abnormalities. And it also empowers you to actively participate in your health journey. What type of monitors do we have? There are various types of home blood pressure monitors on the market, and each with its pros and cons. And we have three main types. We have arm monitors, we have wrist monitors, and we even have uh, blood pressure watches that monitor your blood pressure constantly. Today we're going to concentrate on the arm monitors. And there are two types of arm monitors, the automatic or digital monitors, and the manual or analog monitors. The digital monitors are user-friendly, providing easy reading with a push of a button. On the other hand, manual monitors require a bit more skill and they are more appropriate for a doctor's office. But essentially, you choose a monitor that suits your comfort level and your lifestyle. What is the best blood pressure monitor for you? This is a million dollar question. The answer isn't one size fits all. The best monitor depends on individual needs and the preference and certain circumstances. And, but I suggest you get automated monitor. It's easier to use. You want to look for recommended features. Make sure the monitor you choose has a cuff that fits the circumference of your arm. A cuff that is too small will give you a falsely high number. A cuff that is too large will give you a falsely lower number. You want to make sure they have a large screen display and the buttons uh, should be large and intuitive. And, and there are other features that you can look if they have memory storage. Some allow you to store readings from two people, not just one. Some have a heartbeat detector. Others uh, have a risk category indicator. In other words, they'll tell you if your blood pressure is uh, dangerous, exceedingly high. Many have a uh, download capabilities. You can move the data to an app on your phone and some have that averaging function. It's always important to select a device that is validated and tested for accuracy. Speaking of which, what is a validated and calibrated blood pressure monitor? Why do you need one? A validated blood pressure monitor is crucial for accuracy. Validation means the device has undergone rigorous testing to ensure it meets specific accuracy standards. And calibration ensures the monitor is regularly adjusted to maintain accuracy over time. There was a study published on February 2022 in JAMA, Journal American Medical Association, showed that most of the devices sold on popular websites are actually not validated for accuracy, up to 80%. But the good news is you could go to, for instance, the AMA rating site, the American Medical Association, at www.validatebp.org, and here you can filter blood pressure monitors by brand, by connectivity, 
if they have Bluetooth, the cuff size, and so on. And the British Irish Hypertension Society also has a website that tell you which devices are validated. Hypertension of Canada also has a website with a list of recommended devices. I'll put the links on the description for this organization. Once a year, bring your monitor to the doctor's office to compare it through that with the measurement taken at the doctor's office. Where to buy them? You can find home blood pressure monitors at various locations, pharmacies, the medical supply stores, and online retailers like Amazon and others. And they offer a wide range of options. Just make sure you buying what you need and make sure your device you're buying is validated. And even Consumer Reports has some recommendation best blood pressure monitors. Remember, the first line of therapy for high blood pressure is actually lifestyle changes. Check this video, blood pressure top seven drinks to lower it naturally without medications. I'll put a link above and on the description below. How much do they cost? They are actually not that expensive and they are a great gift for a loved one on this uh, coming holiday season. And the cost of the home blood pressure monitors can vary significantly. You could buy the excellent ones for $100 or less. And basic models are uh, even more affordable, $40, $50. Just make sure you are uh, getting a device that is validated, considering a small investment in your health. And here's the question that I promise you, the free blood pressure machines. Are they accurate? Blood pressure machines are found in public places like pharmacies, drug stores, may provide some helpful information. However, be aware that the accuracy depends on many factors, including your preparation for the test, the correct cuff size, and the proper use. The grocery stores and pharmacy testing is not a substitute for your regular health uh, checks. To learn more how to accurately take your blood pressure, check this video, how to measure your own blood pressure. Doctor explains, put a link above in the description below. Thank you for joining me today as we explore the world of home blood pressure monitors. And remember, monitoring your blood pressure home is a proactive step towards better health. Choose a monitor that is validated. And uh, remember, your health, you must purchase a set, take control, See you next video.